floral, fruity, a hint of smoke, not too much. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today we have a very, very popular blended scotch whiskey here on my cask. It's the Chivas Regal, 12 years old. Well, in a gift box. Um, the Chivas Regal is, well, the value of a gift for the holiday season. Well, which we call here in old Europe Christmas season. Um, and it's a, well, it's a gift. You know you have something special, something valuable, and you present it to your friends and you say, well, this is one of my friends and I give you one of the best I think I can buy. Well, there's a lot of other single malt whiskies uh, which I prefer more than this one. But this is one for the masses. I think it's the second uh, best-selling Scotch blended whiskey worldwide. It was invented and the brand was established in 1801. And uh, so it's over 200 years old. And uh, well, the progress was slow. Most of this progress uh, went on in Great Britain. And after the Second World War, the Chivas Regal uh, made its run through the US and was very, very popular there. And today uh, it's very popular in Europe and in Asia as well. And uh, the, the tin box here for Christmas, it's the tin box of 2015, shows uh, where the marketeers uh, aim this whiskey to. It's Rio de Janeiro, London, Moscow, New York, Shanghai, Paris, Berlin, Cape Town and Tokyo. So all around the world and this one is called uh, 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 Globetrotter. Well, that's it. And made for gentlemen. This is a tagline. Chivas made for gentlemen. Oh, limited edition by Globetrotter Suitcase Company. So it's a joint marketing effort. I have no idea if this bottle is available or this tin is available worldwide. Uh, but this bottle is. And uh, a typical, this bulgy bottle and uh, this silvery label and there's a back label in former times i think there had been uh, a label over here as well and there has been an engraving 1801 uh, in this glass bottle uh, and now it stands here 1801 on the capsule ceiling capsule and this shows that there are well cost saving uh, efforts going on inside Chivers. Um, Chivers Regal was formerly part of the Seagram's group, which was the biggest, the largest uh, spirits company in the world, owned by the Bronfman family. They, in, they, they had to de-invest it and they went into uh, media like Universal Studios and so on. And uh, well, 20, 30 years ago, a man called, a young man called Alexander Ricard uh, or had an internship uh, at the Paisley plant, which is part of Glasgow. Uh, and uh, well, then I met Alexander Ricard at the Middleton Distillery in Ireland, where he was already CEO from Iris Distillers, which was owned by Perno Ricard. And then his uncle, I think, uh, died surprisingly, and uh, he was promoted to CEO of Pernod Ricard, the second biggest spirits company in the world. And uh, well, that's it. <laughs> Behave well to your <laughs> internship people. Yeah, they might be your boss <laughs> in later times. Um, this one is a mass product. Uh, it's artificially colored, I'm afraid. 
and uh, the whiskies inside this blend uh, are mostly from the Speyside region and uh, one of the lead malls which inherit their character to this whiskey is the Strathyla whiskey which was uh, founded, the distillery was founded 17 something so well inside the 18th century uh, and uh, the Strathyla distillery is so called home of the chess. There's a self-guided tour in Keith in the Eastern Highlands, I think, or is the space in the space side region. Uh, Forty percent ABV. This also shows mass market. And uh, well, uh, I'd been to the Paisley plant, uh, bottling plant, and I put you a few pictures here from the bottling plant. It's very, very impressive, and uh, the vats, uh, the these blends are mixed are huge, really huge. 140,000 liters equals, what's that, 35,000 gallons. Extremely, and four lines in parallel. One bottle is filled every second. Ah, oh, impressive. Yeah, enough talk. There's a screw cap on it, no cork. Well, it's a mass product. You can't put cork on it. Uh, and in former times there had been a, a special seal inside with a bowl and uh, this was to prevent the refilling of the bottle with cheap whiskey, especially for the South American market and today it's gone. I don't know if it's uh, gone for South America, but I think it's cheaper <laughs> to hunt the, the fraud <laughs> than to add this seal to every bottle where ingenious people will always find a way to go around these prevention. <sighs> Floral, fruity, a hint of smoke, not too much. Caramel, vanilla, not too much, and a little sweetness like honey. Oakiness in the back, some spiciness, distant faint. It's a mass product, you can't afford too much <laughs> malt whiskey in it. And this industrial grain whiskey with which this mixture is topped up uh, is cheaper and will always reduce the intensity of grain, uh, over blended whiskey by the use of the grain. Because the grain whiskey is very highly distilled to a high ABV, like 80%, 84%, sometimes up to 90. And this will give very few aromas from the grain. Some lavender, yeah, some aromatic. I don't know. Yeah. In the beginning, a little light, watery. But then coming up, showing more, some herbs coming up, some spiciness of the wood and some bitterness, which is always in those massive grains, um, always a sign that they use re -re reused old oak casks, which deliver a lot of tannins and less caramel and vanilla. So there's some of this bitterness in it, but not too much. So it's, well, yeah, I can cope with this. Now some apples, fruitiness. And this blend is doing very well in comparison to the massive blends without an eight statement on it. And it's very recognizable 
at such a blend with millions and millions of bottles sold every year is on such a good niveau. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit, bit too much of of this tannins of the oak, but the rest is okay. Um, I would add another ten uh, euros, pounds, dollars, whatever, and switch over to the Strathyla, uh, which is, as I said, the lead mod inside the Chivers Regal, and then I have the pure spice, which gives this whiskey most of its character. Yeah, if you're not able or do not find it, the <laughs> Chivers Regal 12 years old is a good al alternative, yes. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to discuss this video with me, please do so in our forum on whiskey.com and uh, please give your comments in our vlog also on whiskey.com. <laughs>